Who's the strongest deadlifter in human history as of now? 2023, who has the strongest deadlift in the world? Now, everyone's gonna say Eddie Hall and Thor, and when you're talking about deadlifts done officially in a competition using standard equipment, meaning a standard size deadlift bar, not a super long elephant bar, not a trap bar, the regular deadlift bar you find in your gym or at a meet, and regular plates, meaning not Hummer tires. The heaviest lift ever done in a meet officially is Eddie Hall and Thor, with 500 kilograms, 1,100 pounds. But Eddie Hall and Thor's lifts are equipped deadlifts. They're not raw deadlifts. So what's the heaviest raw deadlift ever done? Who's the strongest raw deadlifter? And if you're confused, let me explain very quickly. When I say raw versus equipped, Eddie and Thor both deadlift under strongman rules. Strongman allows a deadlift suit, which is a suit that looks a lot like a singlet, but it's not. It straps your torso into an upright, erect position, so much so that it's hard to even bend down in a conventional stance and grab the bar because the suit is fighting you so hard and wants to keep you in an upright, locked out position. Also, Strongman allows wrist straps, which literally tie your hands to the bar so your grip will never slip. You're not going to lose the bar from your hands, which is another thing that's not allowed in a powerlifting meet at all. Again, when you're asking the question, who's the strongest deadlifter, what standards are you going by? So Eddie and Thor's lifts are the strongest deadlifts ever done in a competition period with standard equipment, but they are equipped lifts. They're not raw. So who is the strongest raw deadlifter of all time in human history? Who has that record? That question is very, very hard to answer because there's not just one answer. It depends on so many different things. The first is, what kind of bar are we using when we ask this question? There's a stiff bar and there's a deadlift bar. A deadlift bar looks very similar to any regular bar, except it's usually a little bit longer by a few inches, and it's a little bit thinner in diameter, usually by a couple of millimeters. The thinness makes it easier to grab, but it also makes it so the bar is flexible. It bends more. Stiff bar is this thick piece of wood, really, really hard to bend. Deadlift bar is this thinner piece here. It bends and flexes and flops like this, right? That's how a deadlift bar works. When you grab a deadlift bar and you start pulling on it, the bar is gonna start bending with you and rise up higher towards your knees before the weights even leave the ground, just because of how flexible the bar is. That's gonna make it so by the time the weights leave the ground, your hands are already a little higher than they would have been on a stiff bar, which means your range of motion is now a little bit shorter. So you can usually lift more weight with a deadlift bar than you can on a stiff bar. Stiff bar is significantly harder. So what's the strongest deadlift ever done on a stiff bar? Officially in a powerlifting meet, it was actually done this year in 2023 at the IPF. Two fun facts about the IPF. One, heavily drug tested federation. Two, they use a thousand dollar Illico bar. This bar is so stiff that it makes regular gym bars feel like deadlift bars. Every time I switched over to it when I was training for the USAPL before they split, I suddenly had my ego put in check. This bar makes everything feel really, really heavy if you're not used to deadlifting with a stiff bar, a legitimately super, stiff bar. The heaviest stiff bar deadlift done raw in a meet officially is 904 pounds by Jesus Oliveras, one of the strongest powerlifters probably in the world at this point. 904 pounds, 810 kilograms raw on a stiff bar. Okay, so now using the deadlift bar, the fun toy we all love. There's a conventional best and there's a sumo best. The conventional best is actually personally one of my all time favorite deadlifts. In my personal opinion, I believe this is still one of the most impressive deadlifts ever done, period, because it's raw, no straps, no suit, and it flew, and it was back in 2011, which is way ahead of its time. Most of these stats we're talking about here were done in the last few years. This was done in 2011. Benedict Magnuson, a strongman competitor, deadlifted 1,015 pounds at the Ronnie Coleman Classic, completely raw, and he smoked it. That is the cleanest, raw, conventional deadlift done in a meet, in my opinion. 1,015 pounds by Benedict Magnuson. Now the strongest sumo deadlift ever done with a deadlift bar, still raw, Raw was done in the 2022 WRP American Pro by Danny Grigsby with 1,074 pounds. 1,074 pounds raw. No suit, no straps, done officially in a meet, no hitching. Now, <laughs> the internet loves arguing about sumo deadlifts versus conventional deadlifts. I'm not here to get into that. I may actually do a video on that because I think it's a very interesting topic. 
All I can say right now for the sake of this video is sumo is allowed in a powerlifting meet, and this is what I'm talking about. There's so many different things allowed. In strongman, sumo's not allowed in those meets. So the answer gets really muddy. It was done raw in a meet officially, 1,074 pounds. Officially on record, on record, that is the heaviest raw deadlift ever done in a powerlifting meet, 1,074 pounds in 2022. And now just for fun, sort of an honorable mention category of this is what is the heaviest raw deadlift ever recorded in a gym? It's not official, because it's not in a meet, but what's the heaviest raw deadlift we've seen a human being do? So these did use wrist straps, so it's not totally raw. It's raw with straps, and it wouldn't count in meat, but they're still not using a deadlift suit, meaning there's nothing that's actually assisting their strength and power portion of the lift. Nothing that's assisting their lockout. But we have first, Jamal Browner, who is insane. He holds a record of a raw, totally raw, 1,003 pound deadlift in a meat. At the USPA Pro Raw Championships in 2022, he deadlifted 1,003 pounds raw by competition standards, no wrist straps, no suit, smoked it. In the gym, however, he threw on straps, he deadlifted 1,100 pounds, raw. He matched Eddie Hall and Thor, raw, using straps, raw with straps, 1,100 pounds. The official biggest gym lift ever seen was Christoph Wiersbicki, who deadlifted 1,107 pounds, raw with straps. Again, no deadlift suit, he did use straps, but 1,107 pounds. 502 and a half kilos, unofficially beating Thor and Eddie's record weight wise. And again, though, different standards, different standards. Thor and Eddie are allowed to wear the suits. Kristoff is allowed to do sumo, and he has a very, very wide, extreme sumo stance and with a deadlift bar, which can really help range of motion. Not take anything away from him. I can't deadlift more than my conventional max sumo. I suck at sumo. That is the video, guys, to answer your question. Uh, the best official official raw deadlift ever is 1,074 pounds, done sumo. The best official raw conventional is 1,015 pounds, done way back in 2011. The heaviest unofficial raw with straps that we've seen is 1,107 pounds. The heaviest raw tested stiff bar deadlift is 904 pounds, 810 kilograms officially in a meat. And the heaviest deadlift we've ever seen officially in a competition using standard equipment with single ply equipment and straps is 1,100 pounds or 1,105 pounds, depending if you count Thor's over Eddie's. Wow, that was a lot of stats and numbers and divisions. Whew, the deadlift used to be so simple back in my day, and now it's just so diverse. Love to see it.